number six is a par four with 317 yards from the blue tees. So Miguel, we can't see the green from our angle right here. So what's the strategy and what are the hazards that are in play in this hole? Yeah, this, this hole actually is uh, the second of the two par, three, uh, par fours. Uh, it's the longest one. It's not very long, but the, the trick here is if you are a long hitter, then go straight for the traps. You can see back there, uh, but that is a 220 to 230 carry. So, and you have to keep in mind that at, from this spot, almost year round, it's against, against the wind. Against the wind, so it plays longer. It plays even longer. Um, now, for a, for a short hitter and a high handicapper like me, as usual, I'm going to go the safe path and go to the right side and aim for that uh, solitary tree. But like you said, you are mentioning to me, you saw the white stakes on the right. Mm -hmm. That is a OB, so be careful with that. It's by the cart path. And, and then on the left, there are hazards. It's a cliff, uh, re very rough, so be careful. Okay, so let's go and try this. After you. Then there's hole number six, which is a par four. Uh, at the tee box, you have an amazing 360-degree view of South China Sea and the surrounding mountains. Now. It's a uh, bit spectacular, especially at sunset when the sun is uh, going down. You have a fantastic view of the ocean. Nice one. Stay, stay, stay. So Miguel, I have a four-footer for par. So can you help me with that allowance since I'm not so sure if it's left or right? Well, it looks uh, relatively straight, Jalin. Okay. Um, but I would give it a little left of center. Uh, regular putt. Uh, not so fast because even if it does, even if it is slightly downhill, mm -hmm. I don't think it's too fast. Okay. Yes. The one main tip you need to remember in this hole is making sure you hit a good drive, or else it wouldn't be an easy up and down. So far, I've been getting pars. Let's hope I keep it consistent. Our last hole for today is the ninth. It's a par three with 156 yards from the blue tees. Now, Miguel, from the blue tees, you can't actually see the right side of the green. You can only see a small portion of the left side of the green. So where should I aim? And I believe that there's a hazard on the right and an OB on the left. Yes, uh, Jalin, you're right. Um, frankly speaking, it's a dangerous hole, especially from the blue tee, because mm -hmm. you have only a small path to see. Now, if you're super accurate like you are that I've seen, then you'll be going straight for the pin, which is you will not see the pin from the tee box and you'll be going over all this uh, expanse of cliffside and uh, trees. Now me, unfortunately, I'll go the safe route. I will be going for this, the side of the hill, but I have to be careful because that's where the OB is on the top of the uh, crest of the ridge. And hopefully I hit the ridge, uh, the, the side of the hill and get on the green, hopefully. Okay. And that's what you learn from Bata Reyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> signature hole, I think, is hole number nine, uh, which can make or break you because you have to hit the ball over a certain portion of the water. Uh, it's a part three again. And the green is uh, not too big, so you have to be a precise uh, uh, driver. Go! Go! Go, 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 go! go. Turn now. No, turn, I can turn. turn. Yes. Having the right club and a good amount of confidence can guarantee you a par in this hole. I'd like to think that Miguel and I have that. Today's game has turned out to be more than good. Thank okay. you. Nice game. You too. Another day well spent in the golf course, Club Punta Fuego truly lives up to its exclusivity and beauty. So if you are up for some tea time and don't mind a minor road trip, this is a place that I would recommend. I thank Miguel for the noteworthy tips. In the meantime, I think it's time for me to hit the beach. 
So Mark is parking up a taste bud fiasco in golf treats coming to you right now.